I just quit my job. Uh, I was a writer at Saturday Night Live. Wow, she says. But I quit. Uh, they wanted me to come in on Saturdays, and I go, I don't think so. I got stuff to eat. I got a bag of wet spinach at your mama's house. I didn't quit because uh, they didn't take any of my ideas, which they didn't, but I just didn't like it. It didn't work for me. But now I have all these really good ideas that I just can't do nothing else with. So uh, do you mind if I share one of my sketch ideas with you guys? Okay. And then if you guys like it, maybe we can all get together and kind of like scab and then like write something for Tubi <laughs> or Mubi. Okay. So here's my really good idea. Okay. She-Hulk. <laughs> I'm laughing already. <laughs> She-Hulk, this bitch <laughs> walks into a damn gynecologist's office. Okay. Uh, now I've heard everything and, and more. She-Hulk goes into the gynecologist's office. She goes, Doc, is there any way that when I Hulk out, I can keep my pussy small? <laughs> Yeah, and they said we can't say pussy on NBC, and I go, oh, I quit. I quit. <laughs> we can't say she hulks tight little pussy on NBC. I quit. Oh, but I bet we could say Shrek's uh, muddy foreskin. I bet we could say that all day long. Everybody would love that. Shrek's <laughs> stinky, fungy. <laughs> Al Roker's talking about it. Everybody loves it on NBC. We could say peacock. <laughs> Q. I'm scared to cuss. You. After working a job like that, this kind of a corporate uh, entertainment entity, it kind of got me thinking for a while that art is dead. I thought art is dead, art sucks. Everything that's made now is just a copy of something else that was already not that good. Art sucks, art is dead. I thought that for a while. And then I went on an airplane uh, and I saw a guy wearing a hat and it said, I'm non-binary. And I go, is that Jean-Michel Basquiat? Give him a grant. Give this guy grant. Guys can make art too, it's crazy. So now I got all this free time, I don't got no job. But I am married. Woo! Ow! I'm married, straight married to a man. Sorry, I know. And we recently decided to open our marriage. Woo! <laughs> yeah. We're uh, polyamorous, and whenever we tell anybody that they really like that, everybody really likes that idea. Nobody thinks it's bad. Everybody thinks it's really cool. No one's talking about it behind our backs or nothing. Everyone's like, oh my God, that's so, I wish I could do that. No, they don't do that. Everyone kind of gets really mad. Um, <laughs> But we are uh, open um, because, you know, I want to have um, s sex <laughs> with uh, lots of different types of people, different types of sex with different types of people. So we are polyamorous as well. That's right, we're poly. Poly going to get divorced. Give it up, baby. <laughs> no, all is well. I want to have a lot of um, fun and interesting sex before I die, and I, my body is decaying a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Recently, uh, I pulled a muscle in my back uh, from getting eaten out. <laughs> and the person eating me out was an older guy, so he kind of had to prop me up in a certain way so his back didn't hurt, which kind of made my back hurt. And so it's kind of the snake eating itself out. <laughs> We're all gonna die really, really fast. I'm also pansexual. Does everybody know what that means? Yeah. It's like bisexual, but it takes longer to say what it is. Um, I once said that I was pansexual to an audience 
And someone was like, you fuck animals? I go, yeah, but I eat them afterwards. You know what I mean? Waste not, what not. I don't mean to be so like, I'm this, I'm that. This is, this is identity comedy. <laughs> I wish, I wish in my, the deepest parts of my soul that I could have an observation about literally anything. But all I can think about is what's going on up here, baby. So you got to hear me talk about my pussy <laughs> and the things I like to do about it. I recently joined my very first uh, dating app. It's called Field. Are we familiar with Field? Oh yeah, Fields for the Freaks. Spelled F-E-E-L-D, strike one. And field is for kinky people, for people who are, want to have threesome, specifically straight guys with bisexual girlfriends who are like, we're looking for someone who's a woman who won't steal my woman away. Because women can't do that. Only the guys can do that. And then also, um, it, it's a place for uh, guys who like to wear hats go. <laughs> And they go, can you believe I'm wearing this thing? That's what field is for, to kind of fuck those guys. And I'm on there specifically because I'm kinky, donkey, I'm kinky. And um, I'm looking for, it takes a lot of dumb shit for me to come. And I got, I'm just outsourcing <laughs> my pleasure. Specifically, I want someone to smack my ass, smack my ass. I want someone to smack my ass so hard, so much, that it ends up looking like an old map. You know what I mean? Bruised. Oh, someone spilled tea on it a long time ago. It stinks. Unfortunately, the only people in my DMs on this app are guys who describe themselves as neurodivergent dog dads uh, who are into rope play. And that's kind of whatever you think it is. And I go, okay, I'll take what the Lord give me. I'm Christian. I can talk to a guy about trains for a long time. As long as he eats me out, who cares? But what I'm really looking for, honestly, is someone who's kind of like, do you guys remember the slice of orange that was on the shock top beer bottle? <laughs> okay, he was a slice of orange, and the rind was kind of his mohawk, right? And then he was wearing sunglasses because he was just too cool. And he was on a beer bottle. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm looking for. A, somebody who kind of feels like they know how to 3D print a gun. <laughs> but like, is too weak to kind of hurt me. And that's kind of what I want. And yeah, I looked it up, he's got a name, and it's Wedgehead. And I know every single one of us knows a wedge head that they can let me eat their butt. Huh? Anyway. I know why you're all here, and that's because you want to hear me talk about it, so I'll talk about it. It's true. It's true. I did show my full bush in an Amazon pilot that was not picked up. Thank you, Thank you so much. And the trades are going, did they not pick it up because of the bush? We'll never know. But we know that that year they did pick Maisel, and God bless. <laughs> you know, it was interesting. Even though the pilot wasn't picked up, uh, people still find it. Men from around the world have found it. And they like to message me about what they think about my bush, whether they think it's real. Um, I get a lot of messages being like, ooh, I wish I could visit that jungle down there. Ooh. I wish I could s swipe through that jungle. I also get lots of messages being like, hey, do you show your bush in any other TV shows? Okay, I'll share a message I got from a guy with you really quick. So I got a message from a guy about my bush. Here it goes. I got to sing it because it makes me too mad to just read it. So here it is. Hi. I noticed you blocked my other account when I complimented you on your natural beauty. I meant no harm with what I said. I love natural women, and I'm not afraid to say it. Also, you're the one who consented to being nude on camera for millions of people to see on Amazon Prime. So you should have known that possibly some Freaks would come out of the woodwork. 
drooling over your body hair, and then a shrug emoji. <laughs> so don't be mad at me, cause you the one that put that shit out there for people to see. You should block your damn self <laughs> for allowing yourself to be sexualized and fetishized. Cause ultimately that's what's gonna happen with a hairy bush like that. And so now we're open married and it's great. Bye. <laughs>